All right, so we got our new panel built. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, so now we're hooking up the EC module, the electronic controller, and we're going to start hooking up the burner, the electric, and the preheat all first, the bottom one here. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a red for the in and a black for the out, white for negative or ground, and um, green I'm going to tape up with blue for the thermostat. And then we're going to cap them with some furls and those dumbass things to hook on to this. Alright. Alright, I got all these cut, marked, and labeled on the back edge so that I can see them. And I'm hooking them up. And then heat shrink two more together. And then I'm going to throw them in and just get a guesstimate on size of you know, the wire that I need to jump up to the control panel that thing so this is hooked into our earth ground and has a jumper onto those two and then the burner itself will have its own system independent of the ground because that's what it calls for. So I've gone ahead and put this in its location and then I'm running each one of these to see how much I'll need. And then we're gonna put a end on it so that it can just stab in. So when we get this wire up here, what we need to do is we need to create a jumper that's gonna plug in like this and then round up and plug into that. That little jumper cable is what's gonna provide light in this little green thing so that we know it's on when it's on. So this is how we're building that. It's just gonna plug in like that. That'll jump up to that. All right, and that's what it'll look like when they're all done. So each one's gonna get that. And yeah. So we're going to hook up the power now, right here, and we're going to put in a 25 amp fuse. That's how much the system wants us to use, so, and we'll just hook that right up to that block back there. All right, they're plugged in there. There's a 25 amp fuse on that line, and that's to the ground there. Comes out here, and we'll just pop them in the bottom. All right, we got all of our grounds run. Those will run out to the grounds for the cozies. Now we're individually putting in our positive, which is going to be our... This will go to the living room, and then fan four. Next to it will go to um, like the water bay, or I don't know. They're all just going to go somewhere. So let me hook it up, and I'll show you. All right, all the fan in and out, positive and negative, Lines are run, and now we're going to put in our thermostat lines, which are going to be a little trickier. So, all right, orange is going to be our thermostat outline, and last we'll put in yellow, which will be our thermostat in. All right, and our ins are back, so they're yellow. So basically, our ins and our outs are going to have their own block that they run to each one to manage their individual area of the bus. Okay, so here's what we've got worked out. Now because of the way that I'm setting my system up, we've got these all, all the blues done up with a little hook up there. And they'll attach to these switches, which will determine which zone is on, front, middle, or back. And the negative will run to its own terminal block this will run through one thermostat because I only want one thermostat in the cab and back and so 
rather than just flip on when the thermostat's on, the thermostat will be on, it's tell them what to do, and if they're turned off here, then they won't come on, which is the plan. So, there you have it. Make sense? All right, let's keep hooking this up. So if you recall, the uh, we hooked those blocks up downstairs for each of these individually. So these are gonna hook into the switches, and they're gonna go right on the middle because that's the load. And then the bottom we're gonna hook up on the supply, which will come from there, the blues. And then the top will actually just tap into this little jumper that runs back to the negative and that will give us light. So let's hook it up, push it in and push start and see if we blow up. Sound good? All right, there it is, it's all done, ready to go in. Each one's got a terminal block. Let's throw it in and then I'm done for the night because I am tired. All right, back at it one more time here. I'm gonna use these four switches to run my different zones. So there'll be the front room, living room, or living room, kitchen, bedroom, basement. Cool. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to pop this, this one that connects all the negatives off or all the positives into one block for their in power, their supply line, so that each one will have an individual supply line coming from the uh, ECU board. So. Let's pop this off, then we'll be able to plug it all in. Cool, it's going to look good. So to get this off, we'll just use a solder iron, heat it up, and then we'll just come in here and heat each one of those individual locations up, and then just pull it off. Make sure it doesn't just pull off on its own. Or maybe they soldered it. Nope, just pulls it. Look at that. I don't. E I don't even have to unsolder it because I just pulled it off like any dumb dumb could have. <laughs> All right. Good news. This over here out of our way. I'll take and add this here. Just like that. And screw down with some anodized, black anodized screws. Try and get it on there straight, but I never do. Alright, now I'm re cutting this here because I had to order another one of these, $60, because this was for my old one. The new one, it has an extra 
switch on it that has a high low for the fan speed so you can have it at higher low because to be quite honest when you are operating all of the fans in the house at the same time and it's on high it's it's kind of loud it's about the same loud as the air conditioners so yeah and need to eliminate that because that noise is loud so i'm going to cut while i have it it's being overnighted from aqua hot and we'll be here in the morning but i also can't hold up my entire my entire construction of this thing because aqua hot because it's coming from somewhere so all right um Guess while I have it off, I can tighten up a few things. All right, I'm gonna just tighten up the propane and blah blah blah. So you don't need to. Okay, those are our final modifications. Let's put it back in and be done with this panel.